Welcome back guys. So what I've done here is I've taken out all of the spacers that are over here so that we can start the grout. So if you look over here, you can still see that some of the spacers are in. I left that in for the video. But what I wanna do is, this is the doorway right here. So instead of me coming in and tracking over everything I've already done, I wanna start from the furthest point over in here and work my way back this way. Then start in the closet and then come back here to where the space right here before the door is my last spot. Just so I'm not walking over anything I've already done and so everything works out. So just getting started, these are the things that you're gonna want. Um, an excess towel, just for when things uh, get a little messy. You're gonna want some sort of tool to get in to where the adhesive have had got in, like right here, for example. So this is just a little ooze from when you put the adhesive in and I put a little bit too much, easy fix. Right here we have the flex color from Lowe's and the color that we're using is Mocha. This runs about 30 bucks and I think two of these will probably cover this room sufficiently. And then the other thing that you wanna have copious amounts of is a bucket of water. I have another one filling up right now. So let's get started. So this is what I use and it's not official or anything like that, but it's just an old Leatherman that I have and I'm just using the knife part. And you can see here that it's pretty dull just from all of the scraping that I've done with it, but it's always worked really well for me. So obviously it's seeping over right here and this is the only spot that I put a little extra on. So what I like to do is just get a little bit ahead of it and just dig in there and it just scrapes right off. So you can see it coming out. And there you go guys, it's all cleared up and it looks just like the rest of it. And you would have never known that there was any seepage over there. So it looks just like the rest of here, you would have never known. And then there's all that that was in there before. So now onto the grouter. It comes with a sponge applicator and there's going to be a little plastic piece on here that's just going to keep it moist. We're using the Mocha Grout and here's what it looks like on the inside. And I'm just going to take my applicator sponge and just grab a little bit in there and just work it into the cracks here. You're just going to want to go in every different direction just so you know what's in there and put a little force behind it. One of the big things you want to try to avoid that I'm not really that good at is not to get it all over the tile because when you go to try and take this off, it'll create less of a haze. So you can see here where I've actually put in the grout and you can see the different ways that I came in at it from the left and the right to the right to the left up and down and I like to do small little sections like this so it doesn't dry on me all quick. So next I'm going to come to my five gallon bucket of water and I'm just going to clean up all of this. see here that this section right here is all completed and you can see how light it is and that's how you know that it's fresh but if you look over here to what I've done before this one's a lot darker because it's all set and this is how it's gonna look versus this fresh stuff over here so when you're doing it and you see that it's all light then or lighter than what you wanted don't 
don't fret because it will get a little bit darker just like it is over here. So you can see here that this is the finished floor. Everything, all the baseboards are in and all the grout is in as well. Everything turned out really well. The grouting and the baseboards ended up taking me the whole weekend, which is fine. Um, I just took my time and made sure that everything looked good. So you can see that the grout turned out really well. It looks really good in the natural lighting. That's that's what I have in here right at the moment. And you can see the smooth transition going into the closet. Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think everything turned out and looks great. I ended up going through two things of grout. So I know that the original bucket said that you're supposed to go through one bucket for this size room you know i i didn't put a lot down but i didn't put a little so um, hopefully that helps you again thanks for watching the video if you like this video a lot uh, please like it if you liked it that much more please subscribe that would be awesome so until next time hopefully you guys enjoyed this project